Hey there! Have you been wondering just how much it actually costs to live in Charleston, South Carolina? Whether you're thinking about relocating or just curious if it's really as expensive as people say, this video is for you! In the next 15 minutes, we're breaking down everything. Housing, groceries, utilities, and even those sneaky hidden costs people don't talk about. So, is Charleston a budget breaker or a paradise you can afford? Let's dive in and find out. Stay tuned for a full cost breakdown of living in Charleston in 2024. Let's start with a big one, housing. Whether you're renting or buying, your housing costs will be one of the most significant expenses you'll face in Charleston. One, rent prices. If you're looking to rent in 2024, the average monthly rent for a one-bedroom apartment in Charleston is around $1,900 to $2,100. Two bedrooms range from $2,200 to $2,600 depending on location. If you want to live downtown or near the beach, expect to pay on the higher end. For more affordable options, areas like North Charleston and West Ashley have rents starting around $1,500 to $1,800 for a one-bedroom. 2. Home prices. If you're looking to buy, buckle up. In 2024, the median home price in Charleston is around $550,000. This price varies greatly depending on the neighborhood. Want to live in Mount Pleasant? Expect homes to start in $700,000 and go well into the millions. On the other hand, more affordable areas like Somerville or Goose Creek have homes starting in the low $300,000. 3. Property Taxes and Homeowner Costs Don't forget about property taxes! While South Carolina has relatively low property tax rates compared to other states, homeowners in Charleston can expect to pay around 0.5% to 0.7% of their home's value annually. For a $500,000 home, that's roughly $2,500 to $30,500 per year. Add in costs for homeowners insurance, which runs around $1,500 to $2,000 per year, more if you're in a flood zone, and routine maintenance. And your housing costs can add up quickly. Next, let's talk about the costs that keep your lights on and get you from point A to point B, utilities and transportation. One, utility costs. Utility costs in Charleston are pretty standard but the humid summers can drive up your air conditioning bill. For electricity, gas, water, and trash, the average monthly cost for a two to three bedroom home is around $200 to $300. If you're renting, these might be included in your rent, but it's important to ask. Don't forget internet and cable. Charleston offers a range of providers with average internet costs around $60 to $100 per month, depending on your speed and package. 2. Transportation Costs If you're living in Charleston, having a car is essential. Public transportation options are limited, and while car to buses are available, they don't cover all areas. The average monthly cost for gas in Charleston is around $150 to $200 per car, depending on how much you drive. There's also car insurance to consider, which averages about $1,300 to $1,500 annually. Parking downtown can be a hassle too, with some areas requiring permits or paid parking lots. 3. Commute Considerations One more thing to consider is your commute. While Charleston isn't as traffic heavy as larger cities, it's still growing and traffic can be frustrating, especially during rush hour or tourist season. Be prepared to spend some time in your car if you're commuting to work from the suburbs. Now that we've covered housing and transportation, let's dive into your everyday expenses, groceries, dining out, and healthcare. These can vary depending on your lifestyle, but I'll give you a general idea of what to expect in Charleston. 1. Grocery Costs Grocery costs in Charleston are relatively moderate compared to other major cities. For a family of four, the average monthly grocery bill is around $600 to $800. If you're single or a couple, you're looking at roughly $300 to $500 a month. Local markets like Harris Teeter and Publix tend to be popular, 
but if you're into shopping organic or at specialty stores, places like Whole Foods or Trader Joe's could bump up your costs. 2. Dining out Charleston has an amazing food scene, and dining out can range from affordable to upscale. On average, a casual meal at a local restaurant will cost you around $12 to $15 per person. If you're going to a more upscale restaurant, expect to pay $20 to $30 per entree. If you love dining out, you'll need to budget accordingly because Charleston has so many good places to eat. 3. Healthcare Costs Healthcare in Charleston is comparable to the national average. A doctor's visit will run you about $100 to $150 without insurance. And for those with insurance, CO pays typically range from $20 to $40. Prescription drugs are priced similarly to what you'll find across the U.S. But it's a good idea to have a local provider lined up as soon as you move. 4. Miscellaneous and Entertainment And don't forget those little extras. Whether it's grabbing coffee at Second State Coffee or attending one of Charleston's many festivals, entertainment costs can add up. Concert tickets, museum visits, and nights out on King Street can easily range from $20 to $100 depending on how often you like to go out. Now that we've broken down all these costs, let's answer the big question, is Charleston really that expensive? When compared to other cities in the southeast like Atlanta or Charlotte, Charleston's cost of living is higher, especially when it comes to housing. But keep in mind, you're paying for the lifestyle. The beaches, the history, the amazing food, Charleston offers a unique blend of southern charm and coastal living that's hard to beat. At the end of the day, Charleston isn't the most expensive city in the U.S., but it's also not the cheapest. If you're thinking about moving here, it's crucial to budget carefully and prioritize what's important to you, whether it's living close to the beach or saving more on rent by living further inland. So, what do you think? Does Charleston's cost of living fit your budget? Let us know in the comments below. And if you're ready to make the move or just want to learn more, don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more Charleston insights and tips.